Thanks for joining me live, ladies. How are you, Julie? I love your background. Hi, Jen. Hi, Karen. I'm just live streaming. I'm just going to get set up here, light a candle, and then we'll get straight into it. I'll just give everyone a little chance to hop on live if they want. Beautiful. Okay. Hi, Lindy. How are you, darling? Okay. Hi, Jess. Hi, Susan. How are we all? All right. Um, I'm going to pop the link to this Zoom in the chat here just in case anyone does want to hop on and be live with the other ladies here. And then we'll get started. <clears throat> So sorry, my apologies if I sound croaky or I might have to mute myself to blow my nose. <laughs> I just started, um, my body is dissolving some virus at the moment. So let's go. Okay. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Ethel. All right. So I want to be mindful of the time, especially for those that are watching this later. I don't want you to have to wait too long to get to the crux of it. Okay. Thank you, Julie. Okay. We've got a couple more ladies coming in the chat here. I'll just <laughs> admit everyone. Okay, cool. So welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining me live. Before we actually start the presentation, I'm, I want to show you the cards I pulled. So anytime I do healing work like this, I use my healing with the angels card. So they don't, they don't get brought out that much, but on these occasions, I do like to bring them out because they're just always so beautiful. I'm just admitting some more ladies, Athena, Bertilla. Hi. Okay. So I was connecting in with, our loved ones, our angels, our guides. And I was asking like, what do we all, all of the women that are going to be watching this today or watching this at a later time this week, what do we need to know about this journey, about this intensive that we're having today? We're unwinding money guilt. And we got three cards and the very first card that popped out was new beginnings, focus and divine timing. So this is very indicative of many of you have actually changed a timeline trajectory just by being here this week. This is a new beginning if you allow it to be and continue what I'm going to be sharing with you after our three days together. Focus. This is so big. We see it in mainstream, um, you know, law of attraction all the time, but really this is so true. I work with a lot of women who really need to shift from focusing on the fear and worry of money to <laughs> when we focus on the fear and worry of money, what do we attract? We attract more situations in our life that are a cause for more fear and worry around money. And I've been there myself and I'm going to explain to you exactly where I was because I know what it's like to be destitute and have nothing and live below the line and then to actually transform and get out of that energy okay and then of course divine timing I just want you to know that expect miracles no it might not be today but you can expect to see some shifts just by being here this week okay so with that I'm going to get started and I just want to be able to see the comments too any comments I will check in at the end yes Claiming new beginnings for 2022. Exactly. And that's why we're doing this now. End of November. We're about to come into a brand new, new year. And energetically, it's going to be a really powerful year, 2022, for manifesting. Like manifesting on steroids. Like that is why focusing is going to be very integral for anyone here. Is really being mindful of what we're focusing on. Okay, let's get started. Yay. Again, sorry, I am a bit croaky. <laughs> All right. Here. We're going to start. So.
mistake number one. My apologies. Let's start here. <laughs> okay, welcome everyone to Money Blocks, our three days intensive together to shift out of this 3D struggle and into a 5D rich aligned woman. Now, some of you might feel some resistance to this rich aligned woman, and that is exactly why we're starting with guilt for day one, because it's a very heavy energy. Okay, so let me know in the comments below if you're here today because you want to clear those money blocks so you can create more cash flow. Let me know if that's you. I'm going to assume it is because you're here. <laughs> but for some of you, it might just be like living in abundance and not worrying about money anymore. Yeah. So just a reminder that if you stay until the end, we're actually going to be unwinding this money guilt. So if I'm asking you questions throughout, do pop your answers below because it's helping to bring up that energy that we're going to be clearing today. Okay, so welcome everyone. I know a lot of you don't know me. And for those of you that don't, I am Sarah Lyons. I'm a soul life business alchemist and I lead visionary women into super conscious creation to manifest the life and business of their dreams. Okay, here we go. We're going to get to the nitty gritty of it. 2013 was the peak of my addiction. I was homeless. I was broke. I was in a really toxic, violent relationship. And I was actually just, I would have been happy to die at that point in my life. Life was so, so bad. I was just destitute and broken, soul broken. This year, I can happily, confidently and truthfully tell you that I'm living a life of freedom, empowerment, soul alignment. I am happy. I am present. And I just hit six figures in my business about a month or two ago. I work 10 hour work weeks, sometimes probably half that. I never miss a precious moment. Last week, the week before I was able to go on camp with my son. I don't do sales calls. I'm experiencing true freedom in my life and I now have a team to back me up on this journey. So three years ago, I launched my business after realizing my mission. And the first two years was quite dead. Why was it dead? Because I was holding so many blocks. I didn't even know how many blocks I had until I came into business and wondered why I wasn't making any money, wondering why no one was seeing me. Now, I know you won't all be women in business, but I do know there are a lot of healers here. There are a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs here. And for those of you that aren't, this stuff works even if you aren't in business, okay? I just wanted to say that there because we're working with energy. So I'm a full-time mum to a 12-year-old now who has special needs and he requires most of my time in my day, okay? He's actually home today um, and I'm really grateful to be able to do this work around him. That's really important to me because I, I was working. I was five years in support work before my business and it was really hard when he was having a bad day. It was really hard to still have to go to work or to not be able to go to work. I am a total introvert. I'm a total empath. I'm a Libra. I'm a projector and I'm a crazy cat lady. For those of you that know me, know how much I love my cats. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, and of course, this stuff doesn't just work for me. I'm not just popping up out the blue trying to do something with you. This does work with my clients. And this was actually after one month of this woman coming into my space and she put it down to the energy work that we do. Okay, today we're unwinding money guilt. Tomorrow we're going to dissolve money trauma. I think that's going to be a big one for many of us. And then day three, it's going to be nice and light. We're going to unlock those money vibes. Okay, there are prizes and I know a lot of you are doing so amazing. You've been engaging in this group. You've been inviting your friends. I can see what's happening behind the scenes. So thank you again for doing that. Uh, prizes will be announced next Monday and we have a one-on-one -on -one Soul Life Business Alchemy session valued at $9.97. I'm giving away a manifesting money smudge kit, an abundance candle, and I'm so excited about these. I actually have one bonus 
mystery prize as well, which you ladies will find out when I'm announcing prizes. I'm really excited about that. Okay, let's get into it. Let me just um, admit these ladies. Okay. All right, why you feel guilty. So if any of you know why you feel guilty, but you still just can't shift it, still let us know in the comments. It's helping to bring up that energy to be cleared at the end. So many of us are conditioned from a very young age to not want too much, right? We've come from a very old, outdated, patriarchal society where women were supposed to be at home and not work for money and just take care of the family past lives I know for myself I had past life issues around this with embezzlement and fraud and we're carrying that guilt over to this lifetime and then of course past life oaths vows or contracts or even current life oaths vows or contracts that we made So let's get a little bit deeper into this. And I just want you to know that this is a really safe space for you to speak about any of these woundings. You do not have to, but the more you can bring up, the more we can clear, okay? So I'm wondering, and if any of you feel, want to share, please do, in childhood, were you criticised for wanting something maybe it was a present at Christmas time and you were shamed because you shouldn't have been asking for that thing maybe you watched your mother or your father or both of them really struggle with money um, I know for me my mum never bought herself anything it's like it was wrong it's like and she was the breadwinner of our family I barely ever saw her because she was working so much but she still wouldn't buy herself anything Adolescence typically is when we start to form these repetitive money cycles through childhood conditioning. Relationships, <laughs> pardon me, maybe one partner had control of the money. That happened to me too. I had a really toxic, awful relationship and he took all of my money. If we had a fight, he'd take my money. society's expectations on mothers and women in general. We are moving out of this. We are shifting this paradigm. But I'm wondering for you specifically, for each of you individually and specifically, where are you feeling guilty around money? And I'm wondering if you can pinpoint that to a specific time period in your life. Big yes, lots of yeses. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Batilla. Awesome, Mary, you've been tapping on it, perfect. Mother never spent money on her, yep. Not feeling worthy, projections, yes. Guilt is not bringing enough in. Ooh, okay, so the guilt is not having enough money. Thank you, Athena. So I just want to talk quickly about Brianna. She came to me a few months ago. She was also experiencing this. Didn't want to charge for her worth, okay? Now, but underneath guilt, there seems to always be worthiness issues. I mean, like 100% of the time, it's always a worthiness issue, okay? So just quickly, Brianna went from actually doing freebies and a less than $100 an hour work using her sacred gifts in the world to now charging $3.33. That is a huge leap for so many of us. Let's talk about paradigms. Okay, the old paradigm was women should not work, women should be at home, women should not earn more than men. Obviously, I'm speaking specifically about women today because it's women here in this group and I work with women current paradigm we are rising into leadership roles and more and more women are becoming multi-millionaires my vision that i see for the new earth is that we are and we are rising together 
becoming the CEO of your life or your life and business and making money without feeling guilty. Because soul-aligned, heart-centered women with money, can you imagine how the world could change? Big time. So again, where are you buying into the story that you don't deserve money? Write in the comments if you feel called to. I know when I first came into business, I didn't think I deserved money or actually anything nice in the world because I used to be a drug addict. And I used to do bad things when I was a drug addict. So I, I believed that that was it for me. I'd stuffed up so bad in this lifetime that I didn't deserve anything nice ever again and so I went and got a job and I worked and I worked and I worked because it was like I was punishing myself I was I was punishing myself okay so these are some clearing processes so even if you walk away at the end of this week and you never see me again here are some really powerful ways you might want to screenshot this a lot of you are already going to know these processes but sometimes we just need that boost or that accountability to keep doing the thing that we know works and self-love is huge especially for guilt it was huge for me going from punishing myself and not deserving anything nice to be able to sit here today in our own home on the coast showing up just as I am, not pretending to be someone else and being okay with the fact that you are not all going to like me. That's okay. This was after one session. She was in real estate, this woman. So didn't own her own business. One session and she closed a big deal. 13K in commission for her. Okay. Okay. Anyone that hasn't read or listened to the audio, audio, audio book, uh, what's it called? The Millionaire Mind, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. It's amazing. And this is from T. Harv Eker. He also lived in poverty. He said, rich people believe I create my life and poor people believe life happens to me. I used to believe that for 30 years of my life. I honestly didn't understand <laughs> that I was perpetuating these, these cycles and these experiences. But once I realised, wow, I can change this. I can take my power back. I can forgive myself. I can change the trajectory of my future by changing my inner world. It's all going to change and that's what we're doing today and that's why you're all here. So I honour you for being here. Okay, tell me what do you feel most guilty about when it comes to money? Is it spending it on yourself? Is it buying yourself nice things? Buying yourself little treats. Do you feel guilty when you do that? Do you feel like you shouldn't be spending money on yourself at all? And I would invite you to ask yourself, why? Why shouldn't I be spending money on myself? Let's really bring that guilt up. So we always have two options. We always have options. We can either stay in the guilt or the fear or the not enoughness, or we can consistently move through those blocks. So that's what I did. I felt like a piece of crap, okay? I felt like a really, and I was, I was a sick unit. I felt like that's it for me. That's it. But my soul kept nudging me and nudging me and nudging me and I followed the breadcrumbs and I had the realization that if I want to serve the world on a big on a such a large scale I can't sit here in fear and guilt and worry I have to step up and I have to constantly shift energy and move through those blocks if I want to be able to serve on a deep level So I'm wondering, what is one thing you can shift from this day on? And we're about to get to the clearing. But if you're ready for it, let's make a commitment to your soul right here and now. 
and you can either follow along with this or not. This is completely your choice. I, and say your name, make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively transmute and transform my guilt of receiving money or whatever you wish to say there into unconditional love. And just take a deep breath. So if you find yourself in the stuck zone, you can't seem to receive, maybe you're avoiding the feelings that come up around money or you don't believe you can make more money, it's time to make a shift, right? It's time for change. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do that right now. And of course, today I'm sharing with you tiny little snippets out of my brand new program, The Bridge Aligned Woman. And I'm going to talk about that a bit later. But first, I want to get this energy moving. Yeah. So let's do it. Okay. Stop share. All right, ladies. This clearing requires that I have access to your higher self and soul records for the purpose of the clearings today. Thank you for posting in the comments, ladies. I'm definitely going to check in on those at the end. So I would invite you to close down your eyes. You don't have to, but it just helps the process and it, it helps you focus on the energies that we're going to be running today. And just dropping your awareness down into your heart space. Breathing slowly and deeply in and out through your heart. Just getting nice and comfortable. For the next few moments, I will be guiding you into the energy of the heart of creation, which is the space of all potential and possibilities. And that's where I work on energy in this space. And there's no right or wrong way for this clearing to happen. As I guide you in, please don't be concerned if you don't see anything because it's about the energy. Okay. Just noticing these beautiful pink sparkles of light that surround you now. This is the pink light of compassion, the highest vibration available to us on this planet. Taking a moment to breathe these pink sparkles of light into your body. Breathing this into your heart space and allowing it to light up and expand your heart. Really slowing down the breath. Beautiful. And now dropping a cord of light from your heart that runs down through your lower chakras, down through your legs and out through the soles of your feet connecting in with your earth star chakra your higher self knows exactly where this is you do not need to know it's totally fine good sending this light down into the layers of the earth deep into the layers of the earth till you come to the beautiful crystalline core of gaia where you will see feel or even imagine a warm golden light this is the heart chakra of Gaia connecting in and anchoring your energies in here as you feel into that heart to heart connection between your heart and the heart of Gaia just feeling into that wealth of knowledge abundance and wisdom available to you in this space. 
drawing up through your court of light this warm, golden, loving energy. Drawing it back up through the layers of the earth, back through your earth star and into the soles of your feet. Feel this energy rising up your legs like a wave of liquid relaxation. Rising up through your body and back into your heart space. Good. And now pulling a thread of this golden light that runs up through your high heart, up through your throat, your third eye, and out through the top of your crown. Connecting in with your soul star chakra. Again, you do not need to know what this is. It's your higher self does. Sending this light up even higher now. Connecting in with your higher self. Calling forward your divine aspect. Connecting heart to heart and consciousness to consciousness with your higher self here. Beautiful. And now sending your beam of light up and out into the universe, going with it, sending it out past the multiverse out as far as it can go. until you come to the beautiful, white, iridescent light from the heart of creation. Connecting into this space, feeling how expansive you feel as you feel into that heart-to-heart -heart connection between your heart and the heart of creator, soaking up that unconditional love. Just staying in this space of all potential and possibility as we bring up the energies of guilt or any shame around money. Calling in the guilt and shame release alignment now in divine love and light, create a change it, thank you. The energy is starting to come in. I'm going to explain what this is about as it starts to run for you. Guilt and shame are among the lowest vibrating emotions that can create major blocks in our journey to spiritual expansion, freedom, abundance, love and happiness. But we are not born with the knowledge or understanding of these emotions. Guilt and shame were inflicted upon us, often unknowingly, by those who were around us when we were growing up. This means we are unconsciously taught to feel guilt and shame for who we are or what we do. This alignment will release the guilt and shame you may be holding on to. This includes guilt and shame that you may have inherited via your DNA, taken on from your parents or other people, or even have received from the collective. Calling in the money alignment now, divine love and light, create a change and thank you. So these energies will continue to run and just allowing any thoughts and feelings to come up as they do, as they are coming up to be cleared. 
Not a single divine soul experiencing a human existence remains untouched by the energy of money or the countless layers of beliefs related to the meaning of money. Money flows, touches all areas of our life and affects who we think and feel we are as well as, as well as what we think we're capable of. Our beliefs about money have the power to shift and transform our human experience for better or for worse. Thank you. So this alignment will bring you creator's perspective of money and connect you to the purest energy of money. It also clears negative beliefs around money, the energy of money, old outdated stories about money, genetic and collective views about money and the shock and trauma around the energy of money and the misuse of money and trauma around not having enough. We'll also clear the shock and trauma about money being used to destroy and damage through power, control, or manipulation. While the energy runs and clears and you receive this energy, we're going to clear some beliefs, 11 beliefs, and then we're gonna install 11 new beliefs. way this works is with healing in dissolving the beliefs themselves and other limiting energies that may be supporting or connected to the beliefs we are clearing today such as thought forms emotions shock and trauma it will also be clearing and resolving any oaths vows and contracts that you may be holding onto or keeping these belief patterns in place, including curse and hex energies, entities and implants that may be connected to or supporting the beliefs we're clearing. This goes deep into clearing all of the beliefs from all timelines, dimensions and realities where we've been limited by these patterns back to the point of creation from the DNA and ancestry, from every cell of the body, from all parts and aspects of our being and it resolves and reweaves all of this in the Akashic records and replaces that which has been dissolved with creator's unconditional love. So clearing the belief that I have to choose between money and my family, that I have to choose between money and my partner or that I have to choose between money and my health, clearing all of these now, using all of these words of divine love and light, real estate, good life, belief, healing now, create and change it, thank you. Clearing the belief that I have to be financially responsible for other people to punish myself. To make up for past mistakes, I have to be financially responsible for other people to be loved or accepted. I have to be constantly vigilant about my finances. You have to be special to have money or I'm not capable of having money. So clearing all of these now. Clearing the belief that it's not spiritual to desire wealth that wealth is a pipe dream, that money is a trap, a misery trap, that if I have money, I have to give it away. I have to save everyone. I have to sacrifice money for everyone else. And I can't make or have more money than my parents or family. So clearing all of these now. And as these continue to clear 
from all levels and layers and from all timelines and dimensions, we're going to start downloading some new beliefs. And this will heal, download and install new beliefs on all levels, the emotional, spiritual, mental and physical, the DNA, every cell of into all parts and aspects of our beings and bring it not only in as a new belief but also as a feeling which is a crucial part of our creation process if we don't know what something feels like it can be really hard to bring the new desired belief into our experience or reality so not only does this install new beliefs it also downloads it as a feeling and it doesn't stop there it also downloads what it feels like to be safe, worthy, that we have permission to, that it is possible and that we know how to and that we are already living this way. This literally creates new neural pathways in the brain, which helps to find and create these experiences that reflect these new beliefs and feelings. So, installing the belief that I know what it feels like to experience pleasure with and around money, to have a pleasurable relationship with money. I know what it feels like to live with luxury, enjoy luxury without guilt or shame. I know what it feels like to receive and be worthy of receiving. I know what it feels like to be supported, to accept and receive support in all areas of my life. So downloading all of these beliefs now, using all these words and divine love and light, I'm just saying with that intention, downloading the energy thank you. Thank you. Downloading, I know what it feels like to leave a positive mark on the world without sacrificing myself. And I know what it feels like to make money, doing what I love, living my soul's purpose. I know how to live without punishing myself when something I do fails or doesn't work out. I know how to love and be of service and be wealthy at the same time. I'm allowed to make and have more money than my parents or family. Money is for me. I know how to see myself as successful. And finally, downloading, I can earn large amounts of money without having to break my back for it, without having to sacrifice anything else to do it. So downloading all of these beliefs now for a energies will continue to clear on all levels and layers and all lifetimes and these will continue to clear for the rest of the day or evening where you are they will continue to clear for days if not weeks depending on how much you need individually, each of you, as guided by your higher self and soul records. So just gently allowing yourself to drop out of the heart of creation here and float back down through your beam of light, back down through the multiverse, the universe, and allow this light to take you directly into Mother Earth's core, so just traveling down the layers, coming back down into Mother Earth's heart center here. 
grounding all of these energies into your life, grounding them into every cell and molecule of your body, grounding them into your heart and your high heart, your mind and your higher mind, grounding them down into your earth star, the heart chakra of Gaia, your soul grid and the 12th dimensional grid system. Just taking a deep breath, centering yourself in the most sacred space of your heart, just really getting nice and grounded, anchoring all of these energies. And you can either stay here or you're welcome to come back into the present back into your body, back into this now moment. And as you come back, I'm just going to share with you ladies where this is coming from and what gave me the inspiration to run this three-day event i mean obviously my own experience but i just want to take just a moment of your time to show you where this is actually coming from and it's from my program called the rich aligned woman this is really to help reset on a quantum level all of these energies that have been holding you back for lifetimes and to clear any oaths, vows, contracts or agreements, keeping these blocked, stuck energies in place. Because I find when the struggle continues, even though you're doing the work, there is something keeping that block in place. Okay, so this is really designed to clear those money karma dramas, to clear the resistance to those blocks and activate flow it's a really high level frequency container okay it's just going to be incredible we will be cultivating deep soul connections as you grow and rise into riches and the reason why i say that is because every container i run attracts the most beautiful soul aligned women who support each other in these spaces you will leave knowing that you have completely change the trajectory on your future and that creating money miracles will be your new normal i'm not just throwing that out there so this is 12 weeks lifetime access it's advanced clearings and sacred light technologies you are going to get to receive more of this in the coming couple of days and i'm really excited about hearing the shifts that you ladies are going to be accessing through our time together this week. We will be having guest expert trainings, not trainings, but guest experts coming in who are really good in this field with integrating and grounding because this is going to be, <laughs> the energy is going to be high. So you will need that integration time. You will need that grounding, okay? Okay, again, beautiful Amy. Amy came to me, not just with no sales, but she couldn't even, she couldn't show up. She had invisibility woundings from past lives, but now she's actually got people coming to her. She hasn't even started marketing herself. So I know this stuff works. Okay, so this is including the bonuses. It's a 30K package. This is my Black Friday offer to all of you ladies, and I'm going to stop sharing now so that we can all share our experiences from your energies today. But this is the Black Friday offer only. So this will all go away on Monday and it will go back to the regular early bird price, which is 1997. So until Monday, you can come in for 1497. So that's three months of really potent, really potent work. Okay. This is so beautiful. So many lives will be changed. Thank you so much, Amy. I really believe in this work. That's why I'm here. And that's why I love showing up 
and giving this to you free. So no matter what you decide to do after the end of this week, I know that a part of your life will be changed just from being here this week and receiving these advanced clearings. Okay, so I'm going to open up the floor to any questions. I'm going to pop the link to that um, in the comments. So if any of the ladies on Zoom would like to unmute yourself, please go ahead and do that. You're welcome to let us know how you're feeling, what came up for you. Um, happy to hold space for you to share what might have come up for you. Um, I have a question. Yes, darling. I always hear, uh, what, what is this like the third time I heard Gaia? What is Gaia? Gaia? Yeah. Gaia is effectively the fifth dimensional frequency of Mother Earth. So to simplify that, it's Mother Earth's consciousness. Like It's like we are connecting with her as the being that she is when we call her Gaia. Oh. And what about, I, I kind of got the gist of what you were saying, but I try to comprehend as I'm listening to, yeah. it was like Gaia and it was like 12 dimensions and it was a couple of other things you listed. I'm more curious of, I guess I'm kind of curious to what those things are. I listen to them, but I don't know what they are. They sound foreign to me and I just want to uh, familiarize myself with it. That's all. Yeah. I'm happy to do a post on that. That is that is not necessarily need to be understood on a conscious level. Um, as I said, the highest our higher selves, which I'm I'm disconnected from, by the way, your higher self and soul records. Mm -hmm. the, the higher self facilitates it. So if there's anything, anything you're not aware of or you don't understand, your higher self will make sure you get that that healing or get to those places vibrationally that we're talking about. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we don't need to know, like, you don't need to know. So we just kind of what, need to be on the surface, the basics. We don't, we don't, we just kind of need to go on the basics. We don't need to go too deep into the surface. Got it. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I got how, it. How, how did you go, like, with the feeling? <laughs> Pardon me. Um... To me, it felt like, to me, when I close my eyes, I try to picture stuff. So for me, it was actually me trying to picture all of these things. So I was I was here for the most part, but then I also had my kids with me, so like, they distracted me too. But I was here for the most part. It was just picturing it. I felt like, I felt like a higher vibration. I did, and I felt like a lower one, as we was talking about some of the traumas that uh, may have kept us from money or our beliefs that's where I kind of felt my low vibration but afterwards he was like you can come back to this moment in time it was like oh well I let it go come on let it flow and it came back in and now I feel fine now I feel normal again awesome darling tomorrow we'll be going a bit deeper with the money trauma um I think a lot's gonna come up but that that is a good thing so thank you and thanks for allowing me to witness you in that moment. It's fantasy, isn't it? And you hit it right on the money. Ha ha ha. I always have to tell people how to pronounce it. So yay. <laughs> yay, darling. All right. Well, I will see you tomorrow. Um, anyone else want to unmute? And hey, hi, Tenny. Hi, how Sarah. How are you? Are you? <laughs> I'm good. Good. So much beautiful stuff came up for me, darling. I just, oh, wow. oh my gosh, it just, um, the insight and understanding as to where like my whole sort of life is at, really. It's all those sort of adopted, I mean, you know a lot about my story. So all those sort of adopted subconscious beliefs that, you know, my mother sort of put on to me and projected on to me and stuff. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm just going to clear this out. Like, it's not, it's not me. It was all that jealousy. It was all that you can't be, you know, doing anything better than I'm doing. You've got to have worse health. You've got to have worse money, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And I'm just so blessed and grateful. Thank you, honey. That's amazing. Amazing. I think that's where all my heart stuff's come from as well. Like I just, because I've got a halter monitor on today and I think it's always just this 
subconscious stuff that she put on me. You can't be healthier than me. You can't look better than me. You can't have more money than me. All that kind of stuff, living in a violent household, I'm sure. That's what, you know, kind of came. So, look, I'm so grateful. And I just cleared it and released it and just let it go. It's not mine. Thank you, darling. Hi, Sarah. This is Marty. Hey, Marty. There we go. Good. Thank you so much. This is like so timely on so many levels. Um, even as we started, like you started as we started, even the to stepping in, like just tears started flowing because as the days go on and as the hours go on, like I can tell there's been a lot of shadow work and things coming up that. I'm having to process and I don't know always how. <laughs> um, and right now, as we were doing the, we were stepping in and you were guiding us. Like, I just knew it was doing something. I couldn't really, I mean, some, you know, a few memories came up, but then I was just, I just knew and something was happening, like cleansing. And then right now, even after right now, like I'm at, I'm so at, ease like there's just peace in my heart um which thank you I, I i needed that like just today has been a it, and it's, of course it's been hard based on money like not feeling you know just guilt feeling guilty feeling not enough feeling yeah just a lot of things and being around family today has really triggered that so and i believe it happened for a reason because i spirit knew i was going to jump on this call tonight <laughs> 100%. Thank you for saying that because that, that is how it works. Pardon me. Spirit and the universe know when that time that we make a decision to do that thing. And that's why we see we see changes before we even do the thing we decided to do. It's beautiful. I love that. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Penny. You're welcome, Julie. You're welcome, Effa, um, Ethel and Athena. <laughs> oh, would anyone else like to say anything? Or are we good? Are you ready for tomorrow? Do you have any questions about today or tomorrow? Um, if not, I am going to um, hop off. I'm just reading a few of the last comments here, Emma bawled through all of that. Oh, I, I love tears. I think that's amazing. Tears are so good. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave it there so that I can go through everyone's comments on Facebook. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you all tomorrow. If you have any questions, just let me know. And thank you. Thank you so much for allowing me to witness you all today. Bye.